I always argue that there are two costs to imprisonment. There's the financial cost, which of course we all know by adding up the sums, but there's the social cost because everywhere there's a sort of residual effect to imprisonment affecting families, affecting the economy, affecting the future, affecting society and so on. And of course the worst thing is to have unproductive people who've got skills which are not being harnessed for themselves or for the economy. I've always believed in Churchill's marvellous phrase that there's a treasure in the heart of every man who, if only you can find it then it may be they've been using misplaced skills which you can point in the direction of being honest skills and I don't believe anyone, anyone, anywhere is unsavable.